how did you how did you find your sound? How did you find Blaze sound? What what how, how long did it take you to find that sound? Um, it really it took me like a couple of years, like honestly, because um, what I would do, which I like, I snapped out, like I would listen to everything that came out at the time. My favorite artist dropped the album. I would like just play the hell out of that for a week, and then you don't realize it, but like subconsciously, like when you start writing music after you listen to like a project after a while, you'll start to sound like them. So after a while, I was just tuning everything out, listening to other genres, like whether it was like country or pop. I like let me just stay out of hip hop for a while. That way, I can just kind of like create my own sound. Okay. I didn't experiment with different beats. Like I finally got like like my sound, and once he sent me like that magical pack, that's when I did NBA. I just kind of went in and just did my own thing. I think I took a break from listening to mainstream for like six months, and okay. probably the best decision I ever made. Exactly. I, I think a lot of people, man, you listen to mainstream artists, it, it definitely can make you start, like you said, sounding like them, mm -hmm. what you really need to find your own sound. And even with Cyclone, we already have our own sound, you know what I'm saying? Every, even Columbia, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Each part of Columbia has its own sound, you know what I'm saying? That's what so, I'm yeah, exactly, you know what I'm saying? Even where I'm from, everybody got their own sound, everybody got their own flow. The beats they like to, you know, get on and, and ride. Everybody got their own thing. I think that's one of the dopest thing about South Carolina, man. We really in North Carolina, Carolina's period. I tell you, as, so, as soon as we get in, like it's, it's over, man. Like, yeah. Both sides gonna eat, man. Yeah. So, for future releases and stuff, man. Let, let's talk about features and collabs. Who who you want to see? Who do you want to get on the track with? So as far as like Carolinas, or just I mean in anybody in general, man. As far as the, um, the Carolinas, I would love to work with um, Rennie. Okay. Uh, so like she just got signed and everything. I would love to, like, I think we can make something dope. Okay. Um, Not sure if you're familiar with, uh, with the baby, Baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was, I would. The baby hard, man. Yeah, I was, I would love to work with him. As far as mainstream, um, Wale. Okay. I feel like he don't get the respect. Like, he gets, like, if we make something dope, that I can bring everybody from Carolina on him. Um, J. Cole. Frank Ocean, Miguel, and um, another um, North Carolina artist, J. Way Sosa. Like I would love to work with him too. Okay, I think I heard I heard about yeah, him. Yeah, I was like, yeah. he he got that that crazy lingo up there. Everybody, mm -hmm. everybody know who he is, but okay. that's definitely like for future projects. So okay, definitely hey man, that's, that's that's dope right there, man. So this is a dope couple of you know artists you name. You know, I, I rock with all of them, man. So you know, you definitely want to get that runny, that runny joint, man, for yeah. for for the price go up, man. <laughs> for the price go up, yeah. yeah. So definitely, man. So um, let, let's let's talk about um, let, let's talk about um, shows. You got any upcoming shows? Oh yeah, um, we're gonna be in Blue and the Vista, I believe. It's the either the twentieth or the twenty second. Um, they got a showcase at Blue. Yeah. And it's gonna um, I know QC and CMG, everybody gonna be in the building. We definitely gonna rock out in there. Mm -hmm. Um, we got a couple other shows coming up in North Carolina, Hip Hop Festival. That's gonna be in June, June twenty second. In Raleigh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be there. Man, I might be seeing you a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, name two events DME TV gonna be pulling up at, man. Then on uh, the Carolina uh, Music Awards, it's gonna be on uh, Charlotte in July. We're gonna be in there. Okay. A three C, like we definitely like aiming like towards a lot. Man, we be seeing each other a lot then. Tell you, I'm, I'm gonna hit you up whenever, like I'm at an event. You probably gonna be like, I'm down the street. Like, like, <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's all about, man. Networking, man. A lot of artists don't take take that seriously. So, I mean, how do you go about networking? Are you like, even if I'm not performing, like mm -hmm. I'll definitely like just go there to show my support. Right. Like, either hand out flyers or cars, like connect with like the DJ or whatever. Like media is there, like. Every connection like works, man. Exactly. If there's like five shows a week and you can just connect with like any and everybody there, like that's at least about like thirty to forty five followers. And you do that like consistently, like you'll meet a lot of people. That's real, man. Networking definitely is the key, and you can go a lot, lot, lot of places faster if you know how to network and come out and support. You know what I'm saying? Like even coming out. Like you say, you go to other people's event if you're not performing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists miss that. They don't understand that. So, definitely like glad you, you mentioned that. That's that's Because I, I was like that at first. I'm like, if I'm not performing, I'm not going. But then right. it's like, you will see like whatever footage they got. And I was like, I was looking live. Oh, I didn't know he was going to be there. Because they like, never know what's in the duffel. 
Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking, cause they never know what's in the dust.